Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video of data analysis, we are going to take a look at visualizing data. One can use many MATLAB graph types for visualizing data patterns and trends. Scatter plots that I am going to show here helps in visualizing relationship among the traffic data at different intersections. Data exploration tools let us query and interact with individual data points on the graph. The image that you are seeing here is a two-dimensional scatter plot created using the scatter function. This plot shows the relationship between the traffic volume at the first two intersections, that is intersection 1 and intersection 2. I have also computed the covariance. The covariance is computed by COV function that measures the strength of linear relationship between the two variables that is how tightly the data lies along a least square lines through the scatter. Covariances have the disadvantage of depending on units used to measure that is the individual variables. You can divide a covariance by standard deviation of variables to normalize values between plus and minus 1. The correlation coefficient function as shown in the last line computes correlation coefficients. Because it is normalized, the value of the correlation coefficient is readily comparable to values for other pairs of intersections. Its square, the coefficient determination is the variance about the least squares line divided by variance about the mean. Thus, it is the proportion of variation in the response that is eliminated or statistically explained by a least squares line through the scatter. Here in this case, that is this is denoted by the traffic volume at intersection 2. There is also a three-dimensional scatter plot created with scatter3 function that shows the relationship between the traffic volume at all the three intersections. I have used the variable c1, c2 and c3 to represent data at each in intersection and using scatter3 and passing c1, c2 and c3 I have plotted a 3D scatter graph. We can measure the strength of linear relationship among the variables in the three-dimensional scatter by computing eigenvalues of the covariance matrix with the EIG function. The eigenvalues are the variances the eigenvalues are the variances along the principal components of the data. The variable explained that is in the last line measures the proportion of variation explained by the first principal component along the axis of the data. Unlike the coefficient of determination for two-dimensional scatters, this measures distinguishes predictor and response variables. The plot matrix. The plot in the ijth position of the array is a scatter with ith variable on the vertical axis and the jth variable on the horizontal axis. The plot in the ith diagonal position is a histogram of the ith variable. What does this mean? In simple terms, the plot 1 1 is a histogram of intersection 1, plot 2 2 is a histogram of intersection 2, plot 3 3 is a histogram of intersection 3. Plot 1 2 is plot with intersection 1 on vertical axis and intersection 2 on horizontal axis. Plot 1 3 is plot with intersection 1 on vertical axis and intersection 3 on horizontal axis. Plot 2 1 is plot with intersection 2 on vertical axis and intersection 1 on horizontal axis. Plot 2 3 is plot with intersection 2 on vertical axis and intersection 3 on horizontal axis and so on and so forth. So using plot matrix we get such type of matrix plots. Exploring data in graphs. We have two tools in MATLAB graph that we need to be aware about. First is the data cursor and second is the data brushing. Data cursor is the one highlighted in red and data brushing is the one highlighted in green. These tools allows us to explore the data points in any MATLAB graph in exploratory modes in which you can select data points on graphs to identify their values and create workspace variables to contain specific observation. When you use data brushing, you can also copy, remove or replace the selected observation. Select the data cursor tool and click the rightmost data point a data tip displaying the points x and y value is placed here that I have captured in this graph that you can see on the screen. Let us see data cursor in an example. Here I have loaded the count data and I am going to plot data at intersection 1 and 3 using scatter. 
here is a snapshot where I have selected the data cursor and selected last data point as shown. Data tips display X, Y and Z that is for third dimensional plots coordinates by default. One can drag a data tip from one data point to another to see new values or add additional data tips by right clicking a data tip and using the context menu. You can also customize the text that data tips display using the MATLAB code. Data brushing is also a related feature that lets you highlight one or more observation on a graph by clicking or dragging. To enter data brushing mode, click the icon in the red square in the figure window toolbar that you can see here. Clicking the arrow on the right side of the tool icon drops down a color palette for selecting the color with which to brush observation. This figure shows the same scatter plot as the previous figure but with all observation beyond one standard deviation of mean that has been brushed in red. So you can see the red highlighted dots that are beyond the standard deviation of mean. After I have brushed the data observation, I can perform the following operation on them. Either I can delete them, either I can replace them with constant values or I can replace them with not a number values. I can drag or copy and paste them in command window, I can save them as workspace variables. For example, and shown in this figure, I have used the data brush context menu or the tools brushing create new variable option to create a new variable called count 13 high for the three brushed points for the data of two intersections. So basically count 13 high will have three values in two columns. Now another great feature of plot is called linked plots or data linking. Link plots or data linking is a feature closely related to data brushing. A plot is said to be linked when it has live connection to the workspace data it depicts. The copies of variables stored in an object's x data, y data and where appropriate z data that is in case of 3D plots are automatically updated whenever the workspace variable to which they are linked are changed or are deleted. This causes the graph on which they appear to update automatically. Linking plots to variables lets you track specific observations through different presentations of them. When you brush data points in linked plots, brushing one graph highlights the same observation in every graph that is linked to the same variables. Data linking establishes immediate two-way communication between figures and workspace variable in the same way that variable editor communicates with the workspace variable. One can create the links by activating the data linking tool on a figure's toolbar. Activating this tool causes the link plot information bar displayed in the figure to appear at top of the plot. You can dismiss this bar without unlinking the plot. It does not print and it is not saved with the figure. The following are the two graphs that depict scatter plot. Left plot is data of intersection 2 versus intersection 1. Right plot is data of intersection 2 versus intersection 3. So obviously the link quantity is the data from intersection 2. After brushing some observation on the left graph, the common variable count carries the brush marks to the right figure. Even though the right graph is not in data brushing mode, it displays the brush mark because it is linked to its variables. The right plot shows that the brushed observations are more linearly related than in the left plot. Like these, we can make observation by linking data and plots. This concludes our video on visualizing data. In the next video, we are going to take a look at modeling the data. Till then, please subscribe and thanks for watching.